Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for being here. This certainly is a wonderful venue for a convention, and I hope all of you are enjoying Kentucky as much as I am. Well, I tell you, that trip to Keeneland yesterday and Spendthrift Farm was one of the more enjoyable afternoons that I've had mornings and afternoons in a long time. It was absolutely fantastic. Let's thank the Kentucky Holstein Club for the super event they're putting on by joining me with your show of appreciation and thanks. I'm going to mention it again, but you know, this, this uh, Kentucky Holstein Cattle Club is not a large contingent, but Scott and his team really knocked it out of the park this year, and uh, I really, really tip my hat to all of you, so thank you again. Good news flourished about the Holstein breed in 2022. Records were broken, positive news about our beloved black and white cow was plentiful. As President Lamb mentioned, two all-time milk production records for the Holstein breed were uh, accomplished in 2022. I'm not going to get into all of the details of the records. President Lamb did a great job of uh, highlighting those, but I think it's important that we talk a little bit here about Chrome View, Charles 3044, and Connie. Those two registered Holstein cows clearly show the positive impact the Holstein breed has now and will have in the future when it comes to feeding the world. Furthermore, even though I think the word sustainability is being overused today, I think it's important for us to focus on that wor word for a minute here this morning. We need to blow the Holstein breed's horn a little more when it comes to our magnificent cow's sustainability and her ability to provide much needed dairy proteins for the world. Norbert Connie's 486,300 pounds of lifetime milk production total is equivalent to 56,547 gallons of milk, 904,744 cups of milk, 22,939 pounds of butter, 603,168 scoops of ice cream, 48,630 pounds of cheese, along with enough cheese for 129,680 12-inch pizzas. Any way you slice it, ladies and gentlemen, these are spectacular facts and feats. Dr. Barry Bradford and Lynn Oltoff of the Michigan State University Extension have given us more reasons to smile with the new information that they put out to answer the question, are Holstein or Jersey cows more profitable? In their report, Larry, Lynn and Barry wrote, among other things, quote, it seems like a debate that never ends. Are Holstein or Jersey cows the better choice for profitable dairy production? The question of breed profitability and efficiency has again come to the forefront as producers face increasing feed costs and volatile milk prices, end quote. They went on to say, quote, a recent Michigan State University study evaluated costs and revenues of Jersey and Holstein cows managed in the same manner and location on three dairy farms in or near Michigan. Partial budgets were constructed to as assess breed efficiencies in milk revenue, milk bonuses and discounts, feed costs, costs of herd replacements, and value of cull animals and non-replacement calves, end quote. Here's the information you should trumpet near and far every time you get the chance. Quote, the study found that Holstein cows were on average $456 more profitable per cow annually than Jersey cows, with 77% of the revenue advantage for Holsteins coming from producing about 810 additional pounds of components annually." End quote. There's more good news. Quoting from the Michigan State University report, quote, the financial advantage for Holsteins was similar across all three dairies, increasing the confidence in the findings." End quote. 
As you know, for years another breed has tried to use components and efficiency as their calling cards. The Michigan State study clearly answers the components and the efficiency questions of the past. Oltoff and Bradford, Bradford went on to report, quote, each Holstein cow occupying the same single free stall and time in the milking parlor, for example, produced much more total revenue, thereby greatly diluting the feed costs of, pro of production relative to Jersey cows. Although feed is the largest single cost on a dairy, maximizing feed efficiency doesn't necessarily maximize profitability." End quote. This report is absolutely awesome, and we need to promote it at every opportunity. The Michigan State University study concludes that transitioning from Holstein to Jersey cows, quote, does not appear to be a profitable decision for most dairy farms. End quote. Well, we've known this for a long time. It's nice to have the facts presented in black and white by a highly respected Big Ten University like Michigan State. President Lamb mentioned Dr. Jeffrey Buley's study that, the, that, uh, that he and other members of Team Holstein uh, did in the last year that gives us more reason to smile. You'll hear much more about this great information later on in the meeting, but it's the best study I've ever seen on how physical confirmation in today's dairy industry, industry relates to economically important traits. America's consumers gave us more to be optimistic about, according to USDA's annual report on per capita U.S. dairy consumption, which released, was released in September. The USDA report revealed that domestic dairy demand increased from 655 pounds per person in 2020 to 667 pounds per person in 2021. That's the highest level of dairy consumption in the United States since 1959. Yes, my friends, American consumers do love dairy. Your Holstein Association program activity numbers are well chronicled in this year's annual report available throughout the meeting room. As you can see, participation is solid. One of the things I'm most excited about is the great interest in our junior programs, as evidenced by the 684 new junior members who joined our association in 2022. This represents an increase of 26 more junior members compared to the previous year. The commitment to our junior programs and their growth bodes well for the future of the Holstein breed, the Holstein Association USA, and the dairy industry at large. You as members identified 586,663 animals in 2022. The classification program grew for the fourth year in a row as our classification team evaluated 203,040 animals for an increase of 2%. On December 12, 2022, the American Milking Shorthorn Society, AMSS, announced their partnership with the Holstein Association for, to classify milking shorthorn cattle throughout the country. This new multi-breed classification program is conducted by Holstein Association classifiers and coordinated with Holstein staff and American Milking Shorthorn Society staff jointly to provide widespread opportunity for more milking shorthorn breeders to classify cows on a regular schedule. Since that time, the Ayrshire Breeders Association has joined our multi-breed classification program that also includes the Guernsey breed. Guernsey started with us several years ago. I applaud the leadership of all of these breed associations for participating in this joint classification program. I also want to give a real shout out to the Holstein Association USA classification team that's done a magnificent job of embracing the opportunity to classify other breeds of cattle. They've done a terrific job. The, the great job they did with the Guernsey Association had a lot to do with us um, being able to get the milking shorthorn breed and the Ayrshire breed to join us. So it's been absolutely fantastic. We had a great joint classification um, uh, workshop in uh, Wisconsin in May. 
I want to thank you, the members of the Holstein Association USA, who have accomplished so many great things in the last year. As you know, there is a role for all ages, all interests, and all sizes of dairy herds with the Holstein Association USA. All of you contribute to the abundant supply of wholesome, fresh milk and a host of other nutritious dairy products for the world. The Holstein breed is the breed of business. Our cows are the engine propelling the dairy industry forward. Holsteins are the choice for serious milk, protein, and fat production, profound genetic improvement, and showcasing everything your livelihood represents. With your association's adherence and commitment to the vision and mission of the Holstein Association USA, your participation and involvement, combined with the dedication of the board of directors and employee team, the future remains bright. Thank you.